Hi guys, this is a video on Windows tips. Um, basically, previously I've done like about four or five videos on active desktops, and I've said various things you can do. Um, I've only just made one saying about videos, and I've made one before which is about multiple wallpapers, and I've also said having a web page. Now, uh, I'm going to go all out, and I'm going to say you can have Facebook, you can have YouTube, you can have Dig, you can have a weather report, you can have a clock, you can have uh, news, all that, all on one central place on your desktop. Now this is done through the power of iGoogle. Now if you haven't heard of iGoogle, I strongly suggest you uh, get your own little page. Basically you just go onto the Google website and you can um, sign in as um, whatever, make, a, make an account and then you can basically design your own page and then you can have, um, I'll show you this, some of the stuff I've got. I've got the date and time here, YouTube, weather, uh, Facebook, uh, news, my inbox, how many emails I've got in my inbox, uh, map search, so I can drag this map around, so near where I live, um, dig, uh, some RSS feeds down the side. Now, um, you can have a theme as well, this is just my theme I chose, so you just go select theme, and um, eventually it will load up, and there you go, you've got all these different themes you can have, and um, you can also add your own stuff, so there's not, not, not just... Um, isn't just for the things I show you there. You've got Gmail, Blackjack, Dictionary to do, Weather Forecast, Bejeweled, iTunes, things to ponder, interesting photos of the day, Tetris, how stuff works. So it's got a, a, a long list of things that you can have that you can add to this, all through the power of Google. So um, that's basically it. Now I'm going to have to go on the homepage again. So what I need to do is, once you've got this homepage and you've got it all set up and you're all ready to go, because I was thinking to myself, well, if you can have a web page and you can have things like Flash uh, on your web page and you can have um, multiple pictures, what about things like this that actually organise an entire page for you and give you a nice overview of all your stuff that you do? Um, so I was thinking, well, what about if we tried doing iGoogle on our desktop and it works? So I'm going to do this to show you. So, firstly, all right, you set up your iGoogle page and it's got everything you need and you're ready to go. Um, you've got to copy this address, just this HTTP, um, yours will probably be .com or something, um, depending on your country. I'm just going to copy the address and I'm going to close Internet Explorer now. Now, because it's going to take because it's going to take up the entire page, I'm going to have to maximise it so I can fit enough on this monitor so I can see everything. Um, I want to be able to hide these icons because I don't want to click them because they will they'll end up being on top of the page but it won't look right so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click arrange icons and untick show desktop icons now you notice they've disappeared so then I'm going to go right click properties desktop now this is the usual thing I do when we add content to the desktop customize desktop web new and then I'm going to paste in this URL we had to um, iGoogle click OK it says you have chosen to make this site available offline and add it to your active desktop interface blah 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 if you need a password which you don't really because we've logged in already through Internet Explorer so we're going to say OK and it says <laughs> synchronization complete and then it's gone to uh, it's not worked has it we're going to try it anyway oh and it has worked <laughs> uh, well randomly the synchronization manager froze but uh, perhaps it's because it was this um, it was because it had a lot of content on it or something. So anyway, we have this uh, we have this box here, and it's got part of our Google. And we can drag it across and drag it down and see all our content. But I want to maximise this, so I'm going to press this button here, which is maximise. And now I have our Google on my desktop, so it's making a use of my desktop really, rather than just having a picture. I can now see the time, YouTube videos, weather, Facebook. Now, you'll notice it said it makes it available offline. Now, I'm not sure if this content will automatically update. I don't know if you had to, you might have to like save it to your hard drive and have it um, put a piece of code on it to automatically update after a while. If not, um, it's simple to do. Well, otherwise, you can just click on it and just press F5, and then it'll just refresh like it would um, in your internet web page. So you can just uh, F5 your desktop, and you can have it all on your desktop. And then obviously, you can use Google as well, but this will pop up in a browser. So, but luckily for me, which is even better, it will pop up in my default browser, which is Firefox. So, that's quite a handy thing to have. If you're bored of having um, wallpaper as your desktop, uh, just a picture, not really doing much, you'd rather have information telling you about everything. So, once you've finished work, you can have a look and have a nice little overview of what's going on, then do this. So, thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.